Sisters, sisters, aren't you glad we're sisters? Lord, help the mister that comes between me and my sister. And Lord, help the sister that comes between me and my man. <laughs> in the kitchen with sister, sister. <laughs> and this is my sister Mary, Mary Lou. Lou and we're going to cook for you today wait a minute this is Lauren and oh, this is me that's right nobody knows my real name but that's okay we'll keep it a secret on the internet <laughs> oh, but you're gonna get my name right? <laughs> okay so what are we cooking today okay we're gonna be cooking uh, a wonderful recipe for spaghetti sauce and everybody goes okay spaghetti sauce big deal big deal but you know what this is a simple sauce that everybody can do and it'll knock your socks off it is so good it's easy nothing to it and you're gonna love it Yes, and don't forget those close-ups, Mr. DeNail. <laughs> On the sauce, that is. We're going to brown okay, the meat. Okay, here's our pot. Okay. Now, this is just simple hamburger. We're just going to brown the meat. That's All right. The now, this thing. isn't necessary, okay. but this is what I like to put in it because it's a hot Italian sausage, and it really spices it up really nicely. So, we're going to set this on a separate On the side. Pan. And right. we're going to start it cooking. In case you but, can't handle real spicy foods, I wouldn't put this in unless they put mild yeah, Italian. Then, then there's mild Italian. And then there's it. turkey mild And Italian. there's turkey too. So yeah. now it's the first step. All right. And we'll be right back. All right. You can see that the uh, is the, the ground beef is uh, fried. Cooking. Cooking. <laughs> I can't even talk. As soon as there's a camera on me. Anyway, you can use turkey, ground turkey too. Hey, now this is this hot sausage which we like as we're going to eat later. I'm sorry you can't be with us. And we have a little pan here. And Mary Lou, do you put oil in the pan of the sausage? Uh, no. No. Just put them in. And uh, she does two processes. She's going to fry them on both sides. How many minutes? Oh, well, that, that just simmers a long time. Because you want to make it before you put them in the And sauce. it's cooked. And as you're cooking and you're doing that, I'm going to... Hey, we need a song. Come on. Oh, okay. Let's do this, you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I got How about you all to me. Ch 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 Mamma mia, me love it, age. She's older than me, so she knows the songs better. Give me a good Mamma mia, Benza. La la la. Give me a good Hey! Tomato paste, and we have diced rosemary and oregano. Sometimes they're flavored, sometimes they're not. And then the rest are just good old organic tomato sauce, and we have three of them, which are uh, we have 15 ounces each. But we always like chopped tomatoes in our sauce, don't we, Mary Lou? Oh, yeah, it's kind of a tradition with Nana. And no, no, my father used to make quick sauces. This is not a quick sauce. This is sauce is going to take over an hour, an hour and a half. Oh, maybe even two. Maybe even two hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, we've got mushrooms, sliced mushrooms. And that is about, uh, about a cup and a half, maybe, of mushrooms. We've got a cup and a half of chopped onions. We've got about a lot of garlic. Six cloves. Of yeah, garlic she only oregano. put she only put four, and I says, "Come on, two more." Yeah, in there. so you know, okay. I mean, garlic. Come on. Oh my God, it's getting yeah. hot in here. We gotta be silly. Okay, we're gonna add the onions. Okay, go ahead. Whoa, you know what? That's a lot of onions. <laughs> and the photographer wants some wine. So that is wine a lot of onions. Wine. Okay, but see how wonderful that is. It's oh, okay, flavor. just a little bit more. By the way, Alec, say hi, Alec. Okay. Hello. And this is uh, Mary's my, grandson. My wonderful grandson. My I'm going to add garlic. This is a mighty beautiful night. Because we get to eat pizza and Now, some pasta people later. like to put the garlic in whole. I like to cut it up a little bit so the flavor gets uh, released. And again, a ton of garlic. Yep. And you know garlic's good for you, don't you? You, you know what? I would have Mary wants to do. 
uh, Madria Sangria. This is Spanish. Where is this? It says traditional fruit, f fresh citrus. And this is, where is this from? Madeira. So, yes, it's Spain. Okay, so we're going to have this. Pimento de blue. Felice de Sarivazu. O continuo volavo felice. Più noto del sole ancora più su. Mentre la mondo pian piano sperivo lontano laggiù. Hey! All right, back to the cooking. We're going to get feathers in the food. Okay. Okay, we're getting close, dear. We're getting close. Okay, what's going to happen here, Alec, is, and people at Mamma Mia Land, in YouTube Land, is we're, we're frying this. It's pork, so you've got to make sure you cook it all the way through. And a little bit too brown on that one. And then we're going to then we're gonna actually add water. Now, Mary has this thing where she pokes the sausage so all the fat comes out of it. Yeah, uh, good idea. And then we're going to, does that mean that you're not going to use any of that juice in the sauce? That's correct. Uh, did you hear that? That's going to save you some calories there in your heart, too. Oh, and she's going to poke it. And this is what Nani to do and the family. We're just copying what our parents did, what their parents did. And, of course, Nana and Nana were from two places in Italy. My father's family and her father, too. <laughs> Yes, we're sisters. <laughs> sisters. Okay. But well, daddy's family is from Naples. But what we're going to do is uh, <laughs> kind of take a little bit of both recipes. My father from Southern Italian and then the Northern Italian uh, flavor. So, but this is a kind of a combination of both. My father used to do quick sauces. But this is your long. But this is not. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Daddy would do no meat a lot. He would just use vegetables. That's a marinara. Ah. Okay. Okay. Now this is important, and a lot of people don't know this, but the paste sometimes tends to be bitter in the can. So what we're going to do is we're going to add the paste to the simmering meat, onions, and garlic, and then we're going to let it get stirred around so it gets nice and hot. When you do that, it removes a lot of the bitterness from the paste. What removes it? Not the meat, but the onions. Because the, the, the onions the are heat. actually the sweet. Heat too. And then the heat. And too. the heat. Yes. And Nana said it's very important to stand over it because it tends to dry out and gets too thick. And if it burns, uh oh, everything's spoiled. Right. So watch it carefully. Keep some water. I'm going to get some water. Okay, get some water. And close by. Here, you can put water in there too. And yeah, this is what we use. This is a cute thing. And a lot of you people might not know this. Is that we take these cans and we fill them up with water. This way we take everything that's in it. So they were very frugal back in those days. But well, Lana used to live during the Depression, uh, 1929, the bread lines and everything. And she used to always keep in her beautiful apron uh, pieces of bread. And I go, Nana, is that for the birds? And she says, no, it's for me. She said, people are hungry. I would never throw this away. And if I do throw away a tiny piece, and if it's so messed up, you know, and soggy, I just kiss it as I throw it away. We didn't have garbage disposals, did we, back then? We had little no. strainers. No. See, now show, look at, come in here, Alex, and get a close-up of the consistency. And we don't want it to burn. And this so is I me. keep stirring it. And what kind of fire do you have? You have a pretty high fire there, don't yeah, you? Yeah, right now. It's because I want to get it going. No. Not yet. Okay. Well, not yet. But you can tell if it we burns, want the right? We want the paste to get nice and hot. And you can tell if it would burn, huh, honey? Sure. Because, boy, it just, it just ruins it if it, if it burns. Just stay at it. Do not walk away when the paste is in the pot. Paste is in the pot. Paste is in the pot. Do not walk away when the paste is in the pot. Okay, you can okay. add the water. Is that enough? Uh -huh. All right, you put that in there, and that'll help you. Little paste, uh, paste can. What about how much water did you use for that? Um, you can add a little bit more water too. Bring it all in. Uh, probably, I would say about half, half a cup. cup. Yeah. See, got that right. You want to add just a little bit, teeny more water. Okay. Okay. You can see though it's cooking nicely. Make sure you that's what you want. You want it to really simmer and get that paste nice and hot. And, and that it'll, makes and it'll it burn sweet. off. The water will burn off. Okay. So we've got the onions, the garlic, uh, the meat, and when we are the going mushrooms to come in. Where do the mushrooms come in? The mushrooms come 
We can actually put the mushrooms in right now. Okay. Okay? So Usually I saute them. But Marilyn doesn't. That's okay. You can saute them if you want. Not necessarily. But not a lot. Because they shrink, boy. They shrink. Okay? Okay. And the last two ingredients, of course, for the spices, uh, for the flavor, is the wine. We have the wine and we have the Italian seasonings. But we still have the tomatoes to add. Okay, now I'm going to start adding the diced tomatoes. Tell them how many ounces, baby girl. Uh, 14 ounces. 14 ounces. Because okay. these are 15. Now we do this in progression. Why is it we do it in progression, Marino? I don't know. Tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we do Why this in progression because progression? if you put everything in at once, that loses that each each one wants to have the experience of being sautéed. Knows how everything, you know. And so the tomatoes, they need a lot more cooking than sauce. So she's putting them in now, so we get a head start on the cooking time for the diced tomatoes. I'm taking a lot of people. Those are 15 ounces a can, and that's three cans of tomatoes. You sauce. can feed a lot of people with this. Yeah, that's cooking nicely. As you can see, how thick this is. I love it. Thick. You see how oh, thick it's that so is. wonderful. The kids love it. You put them on your lap. And at the end of the song, you kind of open up your little knees and little drop them down. It's really a cute song. It's a song about a cat in the kitchen, jumping up on the stove and knocking the salt and pepper in the pancakes. That's a non it was. Yes. What? Ready? What did one, I hear? <laughs> one, two, three. Stacha, Budacha, Martina, Bella, Gata, Magata, Vamulino, Papale, Cocatino, Colaglia, Casale, Punta la Juke, Fa, Ne, Mare! And you hold the now, kids up. Now, this is how I heard it. Okay. I heard okay. that it's you've gone fishing, you catch a fish, your little cat is right beside you, El Gata. And as well, tell me about the salt and pepper then. You're putting salt and pepper and salt and oil on the fish. Ah. And the cat goes up and <laughs> grabs the fish and throws it back into the river. That is not what mom told me. She said you the cat got in the kitchen. See what happens Down when you pass the out air. information. <laughs> see what happens. Probably about... Oh, wait, wait, stop. Daddy said always... Crack them with your fingers and it breaks open the flavor and releases it, especially if it's dried seasoning. Now you okay. add it. Okay, now do it. That's easily. So, and, and believe it or not, some people can't take that much spice. They, they just can't. And we're going to add some of uh, the... Oh, uh, this is what makes it the best. Uh, Madeira rocks. No, no, sangria. Sangria. Madria. Sangria. Madria. That's not enough. Oh, mamma mia! <laughs> There. It burns off. It's called it's called reduction. <laughs> now, can you see? Can you see how wonderful the aroma? Oh, now at this point, don't taste it. I don't taste it at this point. And you know what? Because it's got to cook a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to add a little bit more water. It's pretty thick. Okay, let's show her which why which how she's thinking. She's saying this is too thick. Some people might like that, but we <laughs> don't. That sounds burned down. I'm, I'm the little reduced. sister. Yeah. We used to do exercises, and when we were kids, and. Um, She'd lay in bed. She's eight years older than me, so I was just a little tiny thing. And I'd stand on her knees, and, and, and we would do exercises. Then we'd go on our couch. I don't know if she remembers this. And we'd stand on the edge of our couch and fall backwards on the couch. Uh, do you remember that? Yes, of course. And then another thing that we used to do is we had our cousin who did paper mache, plaster of Paris, something like that. He paper made, mache. He made a horse's head and a horse's, woohoo, the back end. And he put a cloth. And then we take turns being the horse's head and the horse's woo hoo And we g give rides to all the kids in the neighborhood. And what else did we do? Oh, no, no. Come on. No, the me. big things with sticks. No, wait a minute. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Th this was great. I I'll never forget this. We lived on La Brea Avenue in Los Angeles. And Main it's a street. very busy street. Yeah. Okay? But there were nine cousins. And Jimmy, my, my cousin who was next in line to me in age, hmm. Uh, would make these wonderful things, uh, like she said, the horse's head and you know, stilts. Play with it. stilts. St the stilts is what I was getting at. He would make stilts. We started off this high, 
And then pretty soon we kept progressing. <laughs> so here you have these kids going down the Bray Avenue. Boom. Um, right by, um, right um, by oh, these trucks who are going by. Stilts, these great stilts. <laughs> we went up that high. I, to this day, I can't believe I did that. But it taught me something. It taught me, even in life, you take baby steps. You start small. Right. You get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the challenge... Right. I think about those stilts all the time. I, I'm, I'm someday I'm going to write a story called The Lesson of the Stilts. And and we used to sell lemonade, and people used to buy it. And we had a marionette stage with uh, play these uh, Warner Brothers albums, you know, like Abba Dabba 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 said the monkey to the chimp. Abba Dabba 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 said the minky to the bump. I <laughs> Chimpy to the monkey. All day long they chatter away. All day long they're happy and gay. Singing and swinging and in a honky tonky way. I love but you. You have a dab dab and monkey talk means chimp. I love you too. So the big bad moon one night in June. He married them and very soon they went up on their abadama honeymoon. All right, back to now. Now back to the stops. That's what we used to do. This is important. Take take a little uh, fork or knife or whatever and poke the sausage because you want all that. Th <laughs> <laughs> Did you get that? <laughs> this is called that. And also be sure you have up-to-date cookware. Yes. And you have. This you is, have. A, this is a orgreenic, it's called. It's a good pan. It's an orgreenic. Okay. Now the sausage is cooked enough that I'm going to put that in the sauce. And can okay. you put a little? Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So where are we? Okay. We are now. And then how long since we fast forward? Yeah. How long has this been cooking? This has been simmering for a good hour and a half. Okay. okay. And we're on lower, real low and, now. Yes, it's on a very low fire, and just make sure you stir it. <laughs> So anyway, and then um, I put a little bit of oil so that the pasta doesn't stick, but you don't need to. That's but I just, think everybody knows how to cook pasta. Okay, right now everybody knows. Everybody. You just throw it against the wall and it make it short. And it's and a it done. And, and if it stinks, it's, it's ready. And it's <laughs> al dente. What does al dente mean? Firm to the tooth. Okay. Hey, if you look like it that way. And look at this scrumptious Italian sauce, homemade. Two hours of cooking, and there's your. Hot Italian sausage, Hot Italian right? Sausage. Delicious. And here's our filmmaker from the first, the beginning. This is and my this is my grandson Alec, who I am very proud of. He helped us out today by filming, and he's also in show business. And today we have oh, I missed a kiss. Give her again a kiss. I missed it. I missed it. Ah, oh, precious. All right, and here's our pasta al dente. We didn't need to show you how to cook it, right? Right. Ooh, Everyone knows how to cook it. Because, but it's worth it. And then there's Romano. Daddy yeah, used fine. to buy, remember Daddy used to buy big chunks of uh, Romano cheese? Yeah, and, and he would grate them up himself. Grate them up and so it's good. fresh. Okay, everybody, here's the test. Alec, you're first. All right. Unbiased opinion. <laughs> Nephew and grandson. Let's see. Let's watch that face. Here we go. Let me look at that. Bella Faccia, let me look at that face. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> Delicious. All right, Mary Lou, let's go. Oh, I've got to, I've got to do this too. Well, this it's been cooking for I two hours. Time that I and she here. noticed she twirls it. We used to twirl it with a spoon. Mm -hmm. We didn't show the spoon. Mm -hmm. You hold the spoon in the left hand and you twirl it. Mm. Mm. Here we go. And Mary Lou, mm. is there something you want to share? Mm. Guess what? My sister wrote a novel. Ta da! Goodbye, Ta -da. Pittsburgh. Okay, we have been joking and laughing about our childhood the whole time, but this is before California. This is Goodbye, Pittsburgh. That's where we're from, Pittsburgh. And I decided to just write about what childhood was like in the late 40s, right after the war. Or Italian Americans living in Pittsburgh, yeah. Living mm -hmm. in Pittsburgh, and our, my dream, my personal dream was to come to California. I wanted it like it was like this heaven on earth. And we said goodbye to Pittsburgh, but also it's fiction. It's a work of fiction with a lot of my memory thrown in and what childhood was like. And and a whole chapter's about me. And a whole chapter is about the baby <laughs> sisters who got pneumonia and almost died. Almost died. And, 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 and I wouldn't even be here today filming the pasta. See what a miracle I am. <laughs>
<laughs> and so, anyway, goodbye Pittsburgh. You can buy it on Amazon.com. You can even buy the ebook, ebook, digital or, copy uh, for those who have the Nooks or even on your phone. Right. And I would describe it as warm. Uh, it has a homey feeling. You feel like you're in their living room. You feel like you're in the town. You feel like you're playing out in the street with your kids. Thank you, honey. I, I just feel so cozy. It is a great book for just turn off the TV, find a cozy chair for reading, cover up with your afghan, have your tea or cocoa or whatever, or a glass of wine, and start reading. And, it's, and if you want to know any more about it, read the reviews, Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. Just bring it up on Amazon.com and it'll tell you. You can also get it at Barnes & Noble, too. Thank you. And I'll post my little album, too, because it's funny. Around the same time Mary Lou finished her book, I finished my album. So uh, my and, and, and so it's a triumph for all of us. And I just... so. And everyone, we say to you, a salute, and we say, tutti mangiare. Till next time. Till next time. Bye-bye. Bye. Ciao. I was trying to brack my brain of a good song. A song we used to sing around the house, well, a real popular one. It was the same gal that sang Sisters. Come on to my house. Rosemary Clooney. Oh, loved her. God bless her. God bless her. I love this song. Okay. You know the song? Yes. Okay. Let's, you start. You have a higher key. Okay. Come on to my house. House of my house. I'm going to give you everything. Come on to my house. In my house. I'm going to give you peach and a pear and a lot of your hair. Hey. Come on to my house. My house. Come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house. I'm going to give you everything, everything, everything. Come on to my house. Alec, the choo choo pie lady right here. Here's, she looks beautiful in that picture. She's, it's all because of her. It all started with her and daddy. Anyway, we love you, mama. Come on to my house, in my house, I'm gonna give you peach and a pear and a lot of your hair. Hey, come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house, my house, come on. Come on to my house.